Trent, can I ask you a question? Uh, here it comes. Do you believe in Jesus, Trent? You know, I'm actually morbidly curious about where this is going. Okay, I'll play along. Yes, I do believe in Jesus. I actually kind of do. I mean, there's a lot of historical evidence surfacing that suggests that a man of his powerful demeanor may have actually walked the face of the earth, although there's much to be said about his more mainstream followers who seem to be doing the complete opposite of everything he told them to do. Yes, but do you love Jesus? <laughs> well, love is such a strong word. I, I don't know. I mean, I didn't know the guy. He lived like 2,000 years ago. <laughs> like, there's aspects of him that I admire. You know, with the healing and the love one another and the stop judging one another. Not to mention, he single-handedly destroyed one of the most powerful and militant civilizations that ever existed. I mean, the guy was an intelligent revolutionist. How can you not admire him? I don't think you understand what I'm getting at, Trent. Hmm. Let me put this another way. If Jesus asked you to suck his balls, would you do it? What? You heard me, Trent. Would you or wouldn't you? You didn't just ask me that. Isn't that like heresy or something? <laughs> We're talking about an enlightened being whose teachings has crossed over many cultures and races over the world. I don't think he would ask me to do something like that. But what if he did, Trent? What if he did? Reverend Copernicus, you've got to back me on this one. I mean, isn't this what you guys call blasphemy? Answer the question, Mr. Miller. Okay, well, um, <clears throat> I, I, oh, I just can't do it. I can't lie. You know what? I would, I would have to say no. I mean, I couldn't do it. It's just not in me. Oh God! Oh my God! Holy crap! You would deny the balls of Christ? Oh, that's just terrible, Trent. Well, that decides it. The eels are approved. Wow. Hi there, and welcome back to Anderson Cooper Live. I've just received word that Johnny Mathers, the little boy who experts believe was molested by Michael Jackson's ghost, has just been adopted by a Canadian couple. Welcome to your new home, Johnny Mathers. Yes, son, you're in Canada now. You're safe. There's something in those woods. Don't worry, Johnny. There's absolutely nothing in the great Canadian wilderness that can possibly harm you. Guys, I just received a really disturbing text from Trent. Look. The shrimp are already in the lake? They're feeding on the salmon eggs. The apocalypse is about to take place? Genetically engineered wolf eels. P.S. I'll be in City Park riding the wave. Come on, let's go. Hey, Trent. What's going on? Oh, look, it's my favorite revolutionist, the mafiosos. What's happening? Oh, <laughs> uh, what's happening with you? Oh, I'm just riding the wave, man. Just riding the wave. <sighs> Are you drunk and stoned? <laughs> yeah, I've been smoking some ganja, sipping a little red wine, you know, taking it all in. <laughs> you want to join the peace circle? Normally, I'd be all for it, but there's some serious shit going on right now, and we have to do something about it. <laughs> What do you mean? We don't have to do anything. Just ride the wave, baby. Just ride the wave. The world will fix itself. We just have to sit here and watch. Just sit here, relax, have a doobie, some wine, you know, philosophize. But whatever you do, don't go in the lake. Scud, we have to do something about this. We can't just let City Hall endanger the future like this just so that greedy Duke Duncan and his greedy business partners can make a few extra bucks. We have to stop this. Hey, you guys want some vegan cuisine? The lack of protein makes you passive. I don't know, Coral. Weed, red wine, and even vegan cuisine sound pretty good right now. We gave it a shot and it didn't work out. If it didn't work out, then doesn't that mean we're going against the flow? The flow! That's it, the flow! What? We've been so concerned with trying to convince everyone else to see things our way that we stop connecting to the flow, the flock, the collective consciousness. We have to find a way to guide them, a way they can identify with. What do you mean? We have to find the common ground, find their heart, 
something that matters to them, something they can lose if they don't stand with us. But I want to ride the wave. Scud, without us, there is no wave. Look at these guys. Bonk. Sunshine, butterflies, the world is amused. Rainbows, sunny skies, the world is amused. Whoa. Exactly. They're about to ride the wave right into that corporate wall. They don't have a future unless we do something to tear down that wall. They depend on us, Scud. We are the wave. Whoa. We are the wave. Yes, we are the wave. Don't be afraid to embrace the ways of darkness to lead them to the light. You have a gift for charisma. Use it. Hypnotize them. Use the powers of charm to convince them to do the right thing. Find the common ground. You may not share their beliefs, but use them to guide the believer. We just need to think of something this community holds dear. Well, we better think of something quick, because they're messing with Ogopogo's home. Oh, for fuck's sakes. Well, we gotta do something, man, because they're messing with Ogopogo's home. I know for a fact he's real. You mean like Ogopogo? They're messing with Ogopogo's home. I have an idea. Mr. Murphy, do your thing. What the fuck? Am I really seeing this? Is that legal? I'm so confused. Ay, papi, muévelo. I get it. He's expressing life as a paradox. Oh, yet compassionate. It's sending shivers up my spine. It's like a painting by Salvador Dali. Disturbing yet mesmerizing. This must be what it feels like to be in the presence of God. Wow, I've been so shallow in my life. <clears throat> Wait, that guy's about to say something. My mind is so open right now that I actually want to hear what he has to say. People of Okanagan City, listen to me. Ogopogo is in great danger. What? What's what is happening with Ogopogo? He's fucking with Ogopogo. I'll strangle them with my women's undergarments. As we speak, our own city council is about to introduce an undomestic species into our lake. A genetically engineered species of wolf eel that could potentially hunt down and kill our beloved serpent, rendering him forever extinct, just like his Jurassic ancestors. See that boat over there? That's what they're about to do. Why? Because they don't care about Ogopogo. They don't even believe in him. Well, I really didn't want to resort to this, but time to bring out the laced thongs. These babies will slice through anything. 